Here's a question we get a lot. If I as an appsec noob want to get a job as an application security analyst or an engineer in 2022, what do I need to know? It's obvious that things have changed since the beginning of the pandemic, but how have these changes affected the industry? And more importantly, how do these changes affect your career? These are the questions I'll be answering in this video. If you're looking to get a job in application security in the current market, you need to keep your eye on four specific technology trends. Not only that, I'll be telling you about three things you could be doing right now to up your game and get ahead of the competition. I'm Anish Bhargav from AppSec Engineer and this is my post-pandemic guide to careers in application security. So, Why has application security changed in the last 2 years? Well, the short answer is our technology needs have drastically changed during the pandemic. With lockdowns around the world shutting down brick and mortar businesses, companies realized that if they can't get their products and services online, they basically have no way of doing business. This has led to thousands of companies scrambling to create apps and online portals where people can buy stuff. and when you rush to build an app without thinking about security that can be disastrous so looking at all this here are four of the biggest application security trends that are taking off like crazy in 2022 and beyond number 1 cloud security is a big deal i cannot stress this enough if you're looking for a job in appsec right now you need to know cloud security remember all those companies that were scrambling to make new apps in the pandemic well pretty much all of those operate on the cloud from handling online transactions to storing sensitive user data pretty much everything is on the cloud right now even more so now because so many people are working from home and need the cloud to collaborate and order tacos on uber eats but you know what the crazy part is There's a massive shortage of cloud security talent right now. Even though demand is higher than ever, numerous studies have shown that there's nowhere near enough skilled talent to fill that gap. With the right skills in AWS or Azure or GCP security, you could be filling those vacant spots. Okay, so the second trend you should be looking out for is Kubernetes security. Cloud and Kubernetes basically go hand in hand because if you imagine all your cloud services as ships in a giant fleet, Kubernetes is the captain of that fleet. No, seriously, that's what Kubernetes means in Greek. So it makes perfect sense that if cloud was seeing a huge boost in demand, so would Kubernetes. And where there's Kubernetes, there's Kubernetes security. Kubernetes can be kind of complicated and it has tons of security controls which if misconfigured can lead to some pretty bad security vulnerabilities. But If you can learn some critical skills in Kubernetes security, you'd basically be a shoe in for any team operating on the cloud or containers. Now for trend number 3, API security. Most apps these days use APIs in one way or another. For example, an online shopping app probably uses APIs to connect the front end application to the back end servers or to connect to a payment gateway or even a service that encrypts passwords. With the recent explosion of apps rushed to the market, we're seeing more and more companies release software with totally unsecured APIs. In fact, 94% of companies reported some form of API attack in 2021. That's huge. API security is another one of those fields that companies are desperate to hire for, and it's a major opportunity for you, especially if you already know how APIs or microservices work. On to number 4 then. You should be learning about DevSecOps. If you don't know what that is, DevSecOps is the process of building security measures and good security practices into the development and operation cycle. Instead of building an entire application first and then adding security features, which is never good enough by the way, DevSecOps lets you bake security right into the foundation of your app. DevSecOps can be pretty challenging to implement especially as the size and scale of your application grows, but teams can see massive efficiency gains if they can pull it off. Companies are starting to seriously prioritize shifting security left and they really see value in someone who can help them set up and operate a DevSecOps pipeline. By the way, AppSec Engineer has over 20 courses that cover the ins and outs of cloud and Kubernetes security, API security and DevSecOps. The best part is all our courses come with hands-on labs, so right after watching the video, you can try out what you learned in a sandbox style environment. You can check it out and get a free account at appsecengineer.com, link in the description. So, now you know the four major technology trends that you need to keep your eye on in 2022 and beyond. But that's kind of the big picture stuff. 
Sure, you could start learning Kubernetes security today, but it's going to take you a few months to get some serious skills. So, what else could you be doing right now to improve your chances at landing that dream job in AppSec? Well, actually quite a lot, but I'll narrow it down to three very specific things. The first thing you should start doing is going beyond your regular AppSec curriculum and talking about it online. New things are happening in the tech industry every day and these things often impact security. Let's say we were back in December 2021 when the log4j vulnerability was taking the world by storm. It was so huge even mainstream media outlets were reporting on it. You could for example do some research on it and write a blog post about what you learned and share it on social media. Just a quick tip, never plagiarize content and if you are using someone else's work make sure to credit them there's two benefits to this approach first even if you don't get hundreds of comments or likes on your post you still learn something new and that's always always a good thing second potential employers will check out your profile and appreciate your drive to learn and improve trust me they notice these things if you start doing this right now and stay consistent you'll be constantly learning and building a portfolio that makes you a serious authority on appsec Most career seekers tend not to go beyond their course material which they are learning from which ends up limiting their knowledge to what they can find in textbooks. The real world stuff matters just as much if not more when you're a professional. Now for number 2 and this one's really important. Work on your social skills and start building networks. When it comes to skill based roles, newcomers get so caught up in the technical aspects that they completely forget the social side of the job. You might think it's best for your work to speak for itself, but if there's hundreds or even thousands of people just like you looking for the same jobs, how do you expect an employer to notice you? It's just not realistic. Look I know a lot of people hate the idea of networking but it's an important part of the process. When you build a circle of like-minded friends who all have a strong motivation to help each other out, they too will want to help you out in turn. Think about it. If a hiring manager had to choose between you and someone else with a really similar CV, but you had a friend in the company who could give them your reference, who do you think they're more likely to choose? There's plenty of ways you could start networking in the AppSec space. You can attend conferences and events, go to meetups, hackathons, CTFs, tons of other competitions, and you should definitely be more active on LinkedIn and Twitter, sharing your own content or boosting and commenting on other people's social posts. If you're already working at a company, you should also connect with your colleagues. By the way, AppSec Engineer has a Discord server that's free to join, so you can get on there and chat with people who are in the AppSec space just like you. Now for the third and final tip. You got to learn to code. Trust me, it makes a big difference. I'm not saying you need to be some kind of programmer whiz kid who can build a billion dollar app over the weekend only on coffee and pizza. But knowing the basics of code and how applications are built can make a big difference to how you approach your role as a security engineer. Developers kind of resent security folks because they feel they're doing all the hard work by building the application, but security teams come in and poke holes in their software and just dump massive bug reports on their desk with zero context. And <laughs> while that's a bit extreme, It's also not entirely wrong. After all, developers need a bit of help understanding bug reports so they can start fixing the vulnerabilities. As a security professional, if you can sit down with a developer and talk to them in their own language and understand their point of view, you can communicate much more effectively with them and do your job a whole lot better. Not only will your work get easier, you can help developers employ secure coding practices right from the get go that sort of understanding between the two groups can strengthen the bond within the company and keep team morale from tanking and collaboration frictionless when employers say they want a team player this is what they mean if you're an appsec noob there's no better time than now in 2022 for you to start your journey there's more demand for security professionals than ever and there's a ton of amazing resources for you to start learning right now one of the best resources If you'll forgive my subtle segue, is AppSec Engineer. For just one subscription, you get access to nearly 50 courses and security playgrounds in application security, DevSecOps, threat modeling, Kubernetes security, cloud security, and more. But the best part, every course is jam-packed with hands-on labs, so you get to try out everything you learn in the video lessons for yourself and get real-world experience. We have over 400 unique labs and we're constantly adding more courses to the catalog. If you're serious about taking your apps career to the next level, this is it. Click on the link below to get your free account and start making things happen. I'm Anish Bhargav from AppSec Engineer and I'll see you next time.